Well, senior day was obviously an emotional day, and we knew ECU was a good team, but the biggest thing was, you know, having to fight through that, I think, gets us ready for the conference tournament. Because we were pushed. You know, we got up 3-0, and the next thing you know, we lose, we lose the match, and then everybody else is going three sets. So we had to dig deep, which I think was good for us. I mean, do you want to be in that situation all the time? No, but I think it was good for us going into the future and to see Feli kind of reset himself. And, and I think we were up on the other two courts, you know, up 5-4 and maybe 4-3. Because we know in the conference tournament that's going to happen. And we're going to be in those situations. We're going to have adverse situations. And how do we handle those? A lot of times it determines whether you have a chance to be a champion or not. Well, our seniors, they've had good years. We haven't, like you said, we haven't gotten close to winning the tournament. We've been close in the semis. We've almost won a match here there. But this team is different. I mean, this team is more seasoned. We've had come, guys come back that are more mature, that are, I think have learned a lot from previous years. And this has been the best season we've had by far with these four guys. If you look at our record, we're 18 and four. That's a, you know, for, for those guys to come back, and a lot of it is those seniors. And, they've, and the younger guys have kind of fed off that. So I think we're moving the right direction. Obviously, the tournament stuff, we've got a lot of great competition. But I think this seat, this team is ready for, to embrace that situation. Um, you know, Felly, Taylor are two guys that just came back tremendously different than they were, even as juniors. And so that was a big step. I mean, Taylor never played singles for us. And for him to be in singles and hasn't lost a match, and for Felly to play three, who used to play five and six and struggle and be a dominant three, that tells you a lot. Obviously, Mara and Felipe have been one and two pretty much the whole time they've been here, so they've been kind of a stranglehold on that area. So we've, we've got a good four seniors, but we also got some young guys that I think are playing well too. So it's a good blend of uh, upperclassmen and, uh, and, and lowerclassmen. For us to win it, one thing, no distractions. Focus on what you can control. Number two is we got to embrace the pressure. We got we to enjoy it, okay, because sometimes it starts to play games with you. You have a little bit of adverse situations and you get negative. So we talked about having a positive mindset, you know, being completely relentless out there, leave everything out there. And we're really just trying to keep that kind of attitude. And so if we can do that, you know, I think we got a great shot. We got as good a shot as anybody. But we've got to keep a positive mindset. We gotta, we gotta enjoy this. Okay, we can't go out there thinking, oh, this is my last chance, or when something bad goes wrong, we start to get negative because that's gonna affect not only you, it's gonna affect your opponent playing better, it's gonna affect the guy beside you. I said, so that's what we're trying to focus on the next three days. Yeah, if you guys need to work on a couple things to get a little bit sharper, but all about attitude. Do we have the right attitude? If we have the right attitude, I'm looking forward to watching our guys compete this weekend.